Good day everyone and welcome back to Lunken Plays Minecraft. So today we're gonna switch things up a bit. Uh, I decided that uh, I've been spending a bit too much time doing very easy simple tasks for example mining and uh, preparing some simple things. So I decided today that I, I'll try to do a lot of the you know the nitty-gritty stuff off camera and that way it'll make it a bit more entertaining for you guys so I did a couple things off camera today so first thing I want to show you guys is this as you can see I have started or continued the farm that we had uh, earlier these are the pigs that we had before um, and also I've created one for cows as well I heard some of the cows in from uh, around this area too and I started breeding them as well so this should be a sufficient enough food uh, resource for for now I think um, I do eventually want to bring this underground I don't like being in, out in the open because uh, monsters like mobs also try to attack them and everything and it's an inconvenience for me to have to come outside to do this stuff so eventually I will get this uh, down there possibly automate it in some way or another so uh, we'll probably work on this just a little bit more um, I want to do some more modifications if you will uh, another thing I worked on is the farm as you can see uh, the plants haven't changed much although I think most of them are ready for uh, harvesting so I'll probably do that right now and uh, as you can see I put up a small wall around I just didn't want to worry about getting the stuff trampled by mobs or even myself and I'm going across um, again just like the uh, the animals I think later on I'm gonna move this underground or at least to an area with more room because uh, this is kind of getting in my way since I tend to travel this way a lot um, yeah I did still do a little bit of mining I didn't find any diamonds and I decided to stop mining just because I wanted to share the first moment of finding diamonds with you guys so don't worry you guys didn't miss anything and um, I think you'll be able to get some uh, something good today rather than you know see me herd cows again or whatever so since it's getting dark I think today we'll start with mining Okay, so I'm just going to grab my tools real quick. Torches. Also at some point, I think I want to uh, start making some sort of storage area because as you can see, things are getting quite uh, confusing here because um, I only have a couple chests I think two here and two in the mine so I don't want to have to uh, kind of look through and try to find my stuff I want to have it a bit more organized so I think that will be a, our next little project uh, storage area but first I'm gonna get down uh, to the mine and see if I could try to find that elusive diamond block so guys wish me luck Alright, so I'm down back in the mine and I'm going to start mining. I'm going to fast forward this so you don't have to bother, but if I find anything interesting, I'll definitely let you Alright guys, so I ran into gold. I think this is the first time we're seeing gold. I know there was that one time we saw gold uh, when we first started, but I, I believe, if I could recall correctly, we were not able to get it. I know I mined it, but I had, when I thought I had an iron pickaxe, I ended up having a, uh, actually a stone pickaxe, and so I didn't actually pick up the gold ore. So this is definitely the first gold, gold door and I guess that's a milestone in our uh, let's play. So, or I think this is a milestone in our Lunken Plays Minecraft series. So uh, that's a good thing. 
now um, I'm gonna again continue to mine and see if I could find anything else. Alright guys, so I'm at the end of this row um, and I think this row has some success because I just found gold and now this is the first lapis lazuli that I'm finding. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, but yeah, so definitely a great find for dyes, which again I want to get involved in the future. So I'm going to keep going, try to... Uh, Again, try to. My goal is today to find at least one diamond, so I'm not giving up without finding that first diamond. So, guys, um, ran into some lava here. Not a big problem, I just want to make sure I don't fall in, so I'm gonna put a block here. Alright, so back to mining. So guys, just a quick little comment I have to say, um, I'm finding a ton of gravel here and uh, I'm almost certain that this has something to do with new my, my, uh, Minecraft mechanics because this is not something I'm used to seeing at this depth, uh, at least not this much. As you can see, this, this is massive amounts of gravel. So I'm hoping this I don't keep running into this because it's getting really annoying having to clear it out every time I move forward. Alright guys, so I just cleared this entire row as per my uh, original plans and zero diamonds. So my first guess is that I'm just digging in the wrong spot because I think this has something to do with the new Minecraft mechanics, which I'm going to eventually do some research on. I want to actually like figure out what's going on, uh, like any sane uh, miner would, I guess at least in real life. So um, I think I'm going to try a different tactic this time around. So I think we're going to have a bit more luck in that rift that we originally saw. So my, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put away the stuff I found and then we're going to go looking. So as you can see from this mining, I found 36 iron ore and uh, a bunch of cobblestone and uh, also a lot of flint actually because I ran into a lot of uh, gravel as you can see here. I also found redstone, great amount of it, and gold ore, 8, and uh, 24 uh, lapis lazuli, which I'll be able to use mainly for dyes. So my next plan is to go searching in the... Yeah, my plan is to go searching in the rift that we originally found uh, because at least in that case we could find diamonds much faster by just spotting across the area. Uh, but before I go, I want to make sure I don't lose anything valuable, so I'm going to actually put away some of my good stuff. So if even if I lose something, I'm not going to re regret it as much just in case I don't get it back before I die or after I die. So... Here I go. 
I don't expect to be in there for long. I expect to find something quick and get out as fast as possible. All right, guys. So this is the rift that we originally found. Just going to do a quick look around for creepers or anything that may end up messing with me. So don't see anything. Let's see. This is where I want to go. This is um, a bit dangerous. I could take a serious amount of fall damage. And I just realized I don't have any, <laughs> any cobblestone or anything. All right. I'll be back quickly. All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, I decided to bring my other pickaxe too, just in case I do find something. Oh man! Right off the bat, I don't even know where he came from. He kind of chased me or something, or maybe he fell from above. That's probably what happened. I see one of his friends coming too. Okay, more than one. Ah, oh, great. Oh man. It's like a waterfall of mobs. At this point, I don't care about collecting their valuables. I just want to be not dead. Where's that coming from? Okay, so I definitely think they're coming from up there. Oh, there's a... I know he's, if he gets a shot on me, he will kill me. So I'm going to try to climb up to him. Oh, man! Alright, I gotta recover my health like immediately. Uh, don't even get close to me. Wow, so this is actually a bigger challenge than I thought it would be. Uh, I at least expected my health. Alright, surprise attack. So guys, um, just got killed by a skeleton. As you can see in the text. I want to take him, get him back for what he did, uh, or at least find my stuff. Man, they have like enchanted bows and everything, and I don't, I don't got any. Ah, oh, damn. Okay, just kill him with this, kill him with this. I don't care what you kill him with. That's it. Where's my stuff? Oh, there it is. Yeah, for a moment I was worried that like all my stuff was gone. So let me just get this stuff organized. As you can see, I'm a shell of my former self. So my next fear is that I'm going to run out of food. I have carrots and meat. That's about it. So hopefully my health recovers. Okay, but I'm not giving up. I do want to eventually... I think if I clear this first area, I think I should be fine. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? Put the torches right beside my sword. Because I hate that. Bats. What is that? An enderman? think so please tell me there's nothing here uh, this is so creepy oh damn I hate skeletons they like make everything so hard how does he keep getting these good shots on me This tunnel is massive. I'm not gonna go this way. I'm gonna cut it off for now. And eventually I'll get to it. My main goal was going into this rift. And before I do, I just want to light up this area to make sure no skeletons get any shots on me. Seriously, look at this, guys. It's it's. I'm kind of surprised because I do expect some sort of uh, materials, but if you look at these walls, they're like bare. There's nothing. 
that bat scared the hell out of me. Because uh, I wasn't expecting it. And I don't want to look at the Enderman in the eyes. Because I just can't handle any damage right now at the condition that I'm in. So I will try to keep my eyes or my gaze averted. And try not to fall. Because that's the first thing I'm going to do is fall if I get scared. So, this Enderman is kind of creeping me out because I feel like I'm going to accidentally look at him. This is a massive cave. I almost feel kind of uh, dis sad about mining this stuff because I, I feel almost certain that I'm going to die. What was that? There's a skeleton right there. I wanted to come close. There. Okay. He dropped his bow. Quickly go and quickly come back. Oh snap! Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him! Alright, back up, back up, back up, back up. Man, these guys are fast. God, my heart is actually beating really fast. It's not even about the actual fear of like them coming up or anything, it's the fear of like death and how it's gonna make this me lose anything I find <sighs> but the whole part, point of exploration is to find stuff so that's what I'm gonna do hopefully nothing spawns behind me while I'm doing this and if it does I'm just trying to figure out where I am so I could get out of here, get back in here as fast as possible I actually do feel like I should sleep it so I, I could get back here much faster but I don't have any wool, I don't have a bed, so I'm not going to go back up and find any. I'm going to risk it and hopefully my risk will be beneficial. And uh, my biggest fear is something's going to fall from above. Um, or a skeleton being like right across from me because they have the advantage of arrows although i picked up the bow from the other skeleton so i might be able to do something highly unlikely but we'll see if it comes to that i'll try this feels like way too much risk for such a low reward that i don't see any um, yeah I don't see any practical so guys um, I know I said I'll make I was gonna find some diamonds in this episode but as you guys saw it's not gonna be happening so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end this episode here and I will continue on from exactly where I am right now in the next episode. Hopefully we'll do better next one. So um, please remember to like this video, subscribe to our channel and check out our other videos. And again, please remember to share with your friends guys. So until next time, peace.